is Anna with Adventures with Anna. Welcome back to my craft room. If you watched my video of my craft room tour, I told you I would show you what was in this bag. If you remember, it was hanging up over there on my new uh, whip rack, which I have one, two, three, four, five, six. This would be seven. And then I have eight, nine total works in progress. But this one that's in this bag is the one that I have been focusing on like really hard. I did most all of this in two days with multiple interruptions. I did finally print the pattern off. Uh, this is a free pattern on the Yarnspirations website. This is a Tunisian lace poncho. Like I said, it is a free pattern on Yarnspirations. It does claim that it is an intermediate crochet. If you know how to do Tunisian crochet, it's actually quite easy. They don't tell you, they just tell you how to do the stitch, but they don't tell you what the stitch is. Actually, if you know how to do the extended Tunisian, or the extend, extended simple Tunisian stitch, you can do this project. <laughs> My only problem with it was, I. it says to use a, a size 4 and it recommends a particular red heart yarn. So I went and grabbed, I'm just going to grab one of these, it'd be easier than digging in my bag. I grabbed one of these because that's what I decided I wanted to make it with, which this is a red heart super saver, this is favorite stripes, and it is a, where's it at? Well, as you all know, this is a size 4 yarn. Really pretty. Really, really, really pretty. But anyway, the pattern called for um, well it says print 4 ounces, which this is a 5 ounce skein. Or 204 yards, which this is 236 yards with a five ounce. You can see that right there. But anyway, I figured I would need probably three, which that appears to be about how many I'm going to use. I did a swatch, and my swatch did not come out correct. So I am kind of winging it at this point. I am so close to being done. I'm going to finish out the skein that I have and then get the next skein out. That kind of matches so that I can finish off with the same color that I started with. This is what I have left and I started this skein this morning. Actually I started it last night and I was about halfway through this morning. So you can see what I do have left. I do need to wind this into a ball because it's kind of floppy and it's going to drive me nuts. But this is, and I think I Oh, this is what I was working on with the little crochet with me video. One of my viewers commented that they wished that they could do Tunisian crochet that fast. Well, I went back and I looked at my video. I replied to the comments that that was 40 minutes worth of work. Actually, it was just 20 minutes worth of work, but I condensed it down like into five minutes. So, <laughs> and where I was when I showed it to you, it's like right here. This is the bottom. I have all of this done. Let me yarn yarn everywhere. My project is tangled up in my yarn. Because I have it on my hook. This is what I have. You guys see that? I believe this is going to be big enough to go around me. And right now at this point it's almost I mean, it would be long enough, but I want to go ahead and, like I said, finish off this skein and then use, it'll end with orange. So I'll have about four more rows so that I can finish. It'll go red, purple, and then blue. Hopefully. That's my plan. <laughs> but I should be able to finish this this week. I think, honestly, this yarn with this pattern would make an absolutely beautiful, amazing blanket. Yes. Absolutely beautifully amazing. 
And I don't know how well this is showing up because I can't see through it very well. But I'm guessing that the camera is not doing the colors justice. It is so beautiful, you guys. <laughs> this is mine. It's going to be getting cold. This week is supposed to be a little bit warmer, but we are supposed to start cooling off. So I am going to need something to wear to keep my upper arms warmer. I'm okay with my bottom arms being cold, but from my elbows up, it has to be warm. Let's put this away. I am super excited about getting that finished. Like I said, I will probably finish it like this week within the next couple days providing I have time so anyway that's what I've been working on I do not have any other finished items and I have not been working on anything else at all this week or last week actually last week was not even a thing it's we're still on this week it's what happens when you take days off <laughs> anyway I'm gonna let you guys go I'm going to edit this video and try and get working on the adventure videos so that I can also get that ad uploaded for you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you next time right back here in my craft room.